since you had your rifle. Yeah, there's been a couple around here. And I tried it to uh, 5x5 and 3x4 L classified if I wanted it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want it. Yeah. Not yet. Dang, just missed him. Maybe you can see him. So I'm hiking in, it's our abrupt beginning here. I'm hiking in to go check some trail cams. Kind of hunt my way in and out while I'm checking the cams. And I just spotted elk in that opening patch. They were kind of running down. I don't know if they're running or if they're coming in because there's some guys down in there calling for elk. Hear them bugling. But I just saw, some, I think those are cows. Might have been a young bull, but holy smokes, just caught them. I was came up like five seconds earlier, I would have missed him. Whew. But yeah, anyways, I'm jetting up here as fast as I can. Just got off work. I'm trying to get up and down before it gets dark. More or less, like I said, just grabbing trail cams. Um, I put in here over the summer. But there's some elk in here. That's a good start. And <laughs> as you can see, I don't know, is that more elk? Or bushes, but um, yeah, those are far away as away. I'm not going after those, but yeah. Some guy who was bear hunting, super nice, gave me a lift on his ATV like halfway up the trail, so cut some time off big time. That was sweet, so thanks to that guy. So, yeah, hunting season's well underway here in Montana. This is two and a half weeks into the month. Um, archery opener for deer and elk. Um, antelope's been open for about a month, and I wish. And I've been hunting antelope. I got an archery antelope tag, and I've been hunting, hunting hard as much as I can since the antelope opener and the elk opener. But I just haven't been able to film that much. I just want to fill the freezer so bad, and I feel like the camera's been hindering me. And I wish I had more hunting content up on this page for you guys, but like I said, I feel like the camera has just been making things harder, so I've just been stuffing it in the backpack and kind of going without filming. But, then again, I think about it, and it's like, I'm not really making the videos for other people, more or less, kind of video journaling my own st journey here, so I can look back on it after the season and in the years come, so. Whew. Anyways, I'm going to get back to it, and try to start filming for, filming for the channel, and this hunting season's going to be fun. It's already off to a fun start. This is epic. I'm hearing my first bugles of the season finally. It's September 16th, I think. Maybe the 17th. <clears throat> but this past weekend, I didn't hear any bugles, and I figured it should be peak rut, but I didn't hear nothing. But I'm watching these elk, and I just heard a bull chuckle in there. There's some hunters down in there calling to them. Man, I would love to just sit here and listen, but I'm trying to make it up to the top of this ridge. And I got a bomb down that way. Trying to pull two trail cams out of here, so kind of on a schedule. But man, that's epic. I might try to jet in here tomorrow and get in there. I mean, hopefully, maybe they're still there. Once I get these trail cams, I'll come back here and just actually hunt this. Found my trail cam, my first cam, and as I'm coming up to it, I think I put this thing way too damn high. There's no way, unless an elk walked right in front of it. There's no way it's catching a deer or nothing. That thing is high at this angle. <laughs> God, I'm so dumb. But it's still here, at least I have it. So I just pulled that card on my way to my second camera location. I have like an SD card reader that I can plug into my phone, but it wasn't working, I was getting an error message. So I'm either just gonna try it again at the truck or try it at home on my computer. But to be honest, I don't think that camera got anything. I had it way too high. I came up to it from a different spot than when I set it up. So where I set it up, it looked good, but down on the ground level, bad. <laughs> we'll find out though. On to the next spot.
figure I'd let a bugle out at the top of this ridge to see if I'll hear anything. I let one off when I was coming in up the trail and bugle responds right back down into kind of where I saw those elk. I'm 99% sure it was a hunter that I heard bugle. Cause then about 10 minutes later, I heard one of the elk actually bugle. I was definitely able to tell that was real elk. So the first one was just a hunter, but no response up here. So, sorry for my complete amateur bugling right there. Definitely have a, a lot to learn with this elk hunting stuff. Just got on the camera number two. So I have this one set up in the thick timber. There's some fresh sign coming in here. So I was cow calling as I was coming in. So all the noise I was making, hopefully the elk would think I'm a cow or a couple cows. Wind's coming uphill, I'm coming downhill, so not a bad setup. I feel good about this trail camera. Um, yeah, I'm gonna check the SD card or see if I can, see if my card reader will work this time. And then I, I was able to grab these quicker than I thought it was, so I'm gonna slowly hunt my way out. I feel good about this spot. Doesn't seem that there's any hunters. I, I haven't seen any, but hunting pressure seems less over here. And, um, yeah, fresh sign. So I walked in on three mule deer when I was just breaking into the timber. So that was cool. But, uh, let's check this card out. That is literally the night I put this camera up. There was a bull on it. The night I put it up. There's a lot of bulls on here. Or just that one bull. <laughs> yeah, that one bull. That's funny. It's pretty freaking cool getting elk on the camera. I've never had elk. Well, I guess I've never placed a camera in elk. Oh my God, there's so many pictures. So that's, dude, that night, this bull came in here. All right, there's a lot of pictures. I'll go through these when I get home. But I'm just gonna skip, oh, nice mule deer. Nice mule deer. I'm just gonna skip to the most recent photos. August 18th. Yeah, there hasn't been any. Oh my. It's been a month since any bulls have came through here. But look at this one. It's a freaking tank. That's it, I'm sold. I'm gonna be hunting this place like no other. I mean, it's not a good sign. He hasn't been in here in over a month, but I was not expecting anything like that on here. Whew. All right, I'm gonna hunt my way out of here. This, that was sweet. Great trail cam location, I guess. That gets me fired up. Decently fresh rub. That mule deer, I, I started walking that tree line to work in closer to him. He stood there for a while. I probably got to 150 yards. And then he just turned around and walked off. I wasn't too scared, but man, that was sweet. I've never seen him that big of a mule deer before out in public land like this before. That was epic. Oh, this is good. really cool.
cool. I just figured up, 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 up on top of this little valley on my way out, I let off the bugle. Sure enough, bull sounded off down in there a couple, a few seconds after I um, bugled. I mean, yeah, it might have been a hunter, but I think, I think it was an elk. I'm gonna go with it was an elk. I won't be hunting him, but that was cool to get a response. I'd say that was my first, it's my first bugle response. I should have filmed it, but I don't even think he would have heard the bugle anyways. It was pretty faint. I had to listen pretty good. And I don't have my external mic on this thing either, so I don't think it would have picked it up. Anyways, head back to the truck. But let's see what happens on the way out. So I'm just going to go home and check the cards when I get home and kind of go through them and see if there's anything else worthy to show you guys. And check that other card that didn't work. But I don't have too high hopes of that one. I'm definitely going to spend a ton of time in here the remainder of the season. And if I spend enough time in here, I think I can get something down. Either elk or deer, I don't care. But anyways, if I get back to the house with some photos that are worth showing, we'll take a look at them. I think... Huh. Got photos. Let's see what we got. Some What's wind? the best way to do this? Can you like hide? <laughs> it's gonna be probably just like pure. <laughs> it's like sky.